had another episode. This time when I woke up, I was in my house like I was 12 again. I walked into my parents' room and uh, I found their bodies. My mom peacefully on the bed and, and my dad, he, he had given her pills and and he uh, So how did he deal with it this time? Picked up my mom held her in my arms told her everything was going to be okay So I know it hurts and you're making progress which is great and you also know that substance abuse is not the way Okay? Yeah Yeah I never do drugs or substances of any kind And you said your friend Kent, you said he's been having issues, right? Since his sister has been missing? Kent? Oh, oh yeah, he's good. He's, he's never been better. Um, he doesn't do court mandated therapy, but uh, he's good. You know, he has his own healthy way of dealing with emotions. Haven't you had enough yet? Thought you put up a better fight. You hit like a bitch. Can't the Bulldog Lloyd? I guess it's not such a fitting nickname. You have no idea. Put your hands down, kid. It's good to see you, Sheriff Mulligan. How's the wife? Better. Who was that? Just some kid sniffing around in the wrong neighborhood. And you thought, hey, free game. Well. What are you doing? Do you want to end up in jail like your dad? Can't you see I'm trying to help you before it's too late? Look, are you going to arrest me or not? No, I'm just going to give you a warning. But promise me you're going to do better. I can try. And there he goes. 180 pounds of hot dogs and beer with a 40 yard dash of 28 seconds. Our town sheriff. And still, he was able to catch you. you. Gotta give the man credit. I mean, he's able to catch our leader. The king of all the broke teenagers with slicked hair, just like that. Do you see any handcuffs? Hop in. Where are we going? We'll get some parts for your truck at the junkyard. How long do you think it'll take you to get that truck running? It's almost done. I just stopped working on it because it was supposed to be for Natalie. Yeah. How you doing with that, man? Fine. Just want to get the thing fixed up and then finally get the hell out of here. So you still said I'm leaving, huh? This place has substantially ruined both of our lives. You really have to ask? True. But it hasn't finished us yet. Think of it this way. You and I, we're the survivors of hell. Kings of deprivation. I present to you, your broke majesties. Yeah. You know, you gotta get back out there. There's more to life than being up rich kids. No, there isn't. I'm serious, man. I'm fine. 
Come on, man. This is hard to watch. Okay, I know you miss Natalie. I do too. But you can't just shut yourself off from the rest of the world. You were once the most stand-up guy I've ever known in my entire life. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be like me. You got us past bouncers in the clubs. You had my back in every fight. You play guitar with me in my band. You're just the most fun guy to have around. And not just at parties, but all the time. You just... You just made life more enjoyable. And I know that you're still that guy deep down. I don't know, man. Just promise me that you'll start having some more fun. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. He's ready for the big game. Ready to see this guy bring home the championship. That's right. Dude, let's celebrate. Yeah, all right, uh, what'd you have in mind? Yeah, I heard Zoe's been talking about you. Maybe we could, uh, maybe you could take her on one of my dad's boats and... Are you serious, man? After everything that's been going on, you're gonna say that? Dude, Natalie's been gone for a while. I think it's time to move on. Have you ever had the woman you love taken away from you? I'm sure I'll get over it someday, but today's not the day. Hey, but hey, you're right. You know, we should go out and stop I mean, why shouldn't we? We're young and rebellious. Screw that AP test. You can get into any college you want. Yeah, tonight we'll let everything go. The stress, the struggles, I'll have a party at your place. I know your old man's not home. Tell everyone to bring every drink they've got, and we'll burn this town to the ground. Hell yeah, man! Kent, you're coming with me to crash a party tonight. Please, come in. Where? So, Eastside. No. Why? Come on. You know damn well why. I'm not going anywhere near those rich kids. You and I stepping within breathing distance of their house, a fight's gonna break out. Well, you don't know that. Okay, it's possible. But you need to have some fun again. And what better way to do that than crashing a rich kid's party with me? Your sister loved that you used to crash parties and do dumb stuff all the time. And don't lie, I know you miss it too. We gotta show these rich kids how it's done. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Of our city, scum and sheep leather, the greasers. And Kent, you know damn well not to show your face here. Don't talk down to me, Harris. This is all your fault. If Natalie would have never met you, none of this would have happened. Dude, take your broke asses home. Seriously, screw off. You're not allowed on my side of the town. Out now. You know what? Fine. 
Yeah, your party sucks anyways. Go back to your hole in the wall. You deserve it. What kind of brother are you anyways? Oh shit. What did you just say? You heard me. You tried to put the blame on me? Why weren't you there for her? Where were you? And where the hell were you? You say you loved her. Why weren't you there for her? She was on your side of town. You were just too blind to see she needed help. I'm not doing this with you. Why? Because you can't admit it? You didn't protect her. It's all your fault. She's dead because of you. Whoa! Fight, bitches! Here we go again. Hey, Ken, you good? Dude, why are you so upset? We won. Uh, I, I just need a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do, but I'm skipping today. Why are you skipping practice? It's only one weekend. I don't know, but my dad's gonna kill me if he finds out, though. Well, are you excited for the season? Uh, yeah, I have to be. Yeah, I gotta head back home, but how about I take you out tomorrow? Night? Yeah, okay. Cool. Good, bro?
We got a problem. Remember how we crashed that party last night? Yeah. So, because of us, there's an uprising. Tensions are higher than ever. And this is news why? This feud has been going on for years. But this is the real deal. I'm just letting you know. Be ready. How about be careful instead? Testosterone-filled teens picking sides on a turf war is always a code for disaster. Yeah. Hey, so I'm playing a gig tonight. You gonna come? I don't think so. I have something I have to do. You're not letting what Andrew said to you last night get to you, are you? He's right. No, he's not. He's just trying to hurt you. I have to go now, but don't do anything stupid about me. Hold up. Ready for the big game tomorrow? Well, yeah, I've been training for the last three years. Hey, man, don't be nervous. We ain't never had a better team captain. Hell of a party last night, right? I can't believe those guys. They think they can just come over to our side of the town and we're just gonna accept it? They have no money and no futures. Meanwhile, we work our asses off to get somewhere. We can't let those greasers disrespect us. We gotta teach them a lesson. What do you want to do about it? Boxing at the gym with a broken heart Thinking muscles will shield his pain Really can't relax, so he smokes a pounds of weed But to him he feels the same Just been drowning in sex ever since he left his ex With women he feels his home But the truth is it's all just a cover up Because it is hard he can't let it go Everybody's got to have their own vice That make the bad ones go high Brush it off and cure the pain Cover it up and maybe won't hurt the same Great job. You really had me on the edge of my seat. And now my ears are ringing. No one asked, man. Just go back to trading stocks in a jacuzzi. We need to talk. What do you want? Did you really think you were gonna get away with what you pulled last night? How about next time you just don't throw a party and invite the whole school? You really think you count as being part of this school? Buddy, you only show up three times a week. Some of us have to work to pay rent. We don't all have parents vigorously stuffing our assholes with money. Al, I'm gonna make you- What? What? I can't hear you! I'm sorry! Are you saying something?
った You're disgusting. And so there's mercy for not wiping you off like the stain you are. <coughs> How long did it take you to save up for this? No, not my guitar, man. Not my guitar. Hell no. What happened? Those well, freaking socials put up at my gig and they jumped me! They broke my guitar, man. They're assholes! And they just get off unscathed because there's nothing we can do about it on their side of town. Well, maybe there is. I have an idea. Okay. That's Jeff's. Alright. You stay here. I'll do it. What? No! He broke my freaking guitar! I'm doing it. No, you're not. Why do you get to make all the decisions? Because for right now, I'm the leader of the greasers. When it's your time, you get to call the shots. Should be never. You know how to hotwire a car? Yeah. Have you ever hotwired a car before? No. Trust me, I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. And plus, if you get caught, you get arrested. So will you? I'm not gonna get caught. How do you know you're not gonna get caught? Because I'm Kent the Bulldog Boy. Bought it for 5k, maybe 5k. Maybe, maybe Dude, is that my car? There's a kid I know! On your million dollar house. <laughs> Hope you don't mind eggs in your house, Jeff.
think this is funny, pal? Here he is. Go home. I got him. I tried to help you, kid, but there's nothing I can do anymore. You're gonna have to go to court. And with your history, the next step is probably juvie. Every time I pull up, you're the only kid that doesn't run away. It's like you're trying to get caught. Maybe you think you deserve it, but the world's not trying to punish you. I believed in you, kid, and I still do. I'm taking you home. Hey, Natalie, whose car is out front? What the hell are you doing in my house? Off the pit. Get out of my house! You're dating him? Yeah. Okay, I am. What the hell? Andrew Harris? Why? Because I love him. He's a rich kid. He's got no respect for us, for our struggles, for what we do. He's just gonna use you and then leave. And when he's gone, he's gonna be fine because he's got everything provided for him. You don't know him. He's one of them. Open your eyes, Kent. How long are we gonna keep fighting the same damn battles? You have to be able to look through them. And will he? I don't know. You might have to be the one to make the first mend. With him? I'm not sure if I can. I look up to you so much. There's not a single person in this world that I trust more. But you have to accept this. You're my hero. I know you're strong enough to fix this. I can't stand to see you two hurt each other because of me. Thank you. Hey, Natalie. I know there's no way you can actually hear me right now. But if you can. Do you remember that time? It was right after Dad got arrested. You and I were fighting about <laughs> the dumbest thing. And you got so mad. And you left. I couldn't find you for hours. And it turns out you were just sitting by the bridge, watching the water. That was the most scared I've ever been in my entire life. Until now. I don't know how things got so messed up. I promise you, 
I'm gonna fix them. I just... I, I just want you to come home. Where did you go? This time. No, stupid idea. Good evening, sir. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, I'm here to take out your daughter. Is she around here somewhere? What? She never told me. Really? She didn't tell you she was going out with a broke guy from the other side of town? Shocking. Where are you going? Sir, I promise my intentions are entirely pure. There you are. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. You went through all that just to talk to why didn't you just go through the window? Well, I've already done that. It didn't really work last time, so I figured I'd just do this. Well, this was certainly a better idea. Open the door! Now! Okay, now I need to talk to you before your dad breaks down that door. Alright. You and Natalie became friends right after she started dating Andrew, right? Yeah. Did she ever say anything to you about where she would go when she needed to be alone or when she was upset? Well, because of you two, she was really upset. She never said specifically where she was going to go. But I did see her crying outside of Athens Church a couple times. St. Athens Church, the one in the middle of town? Thank you. I have to go now. Bye.
Yeah. Did you win? No. I tried so hard. I gave it everything I had. I can't believe you. I thought you'd be strong enough to do one thing. To actually be something with everything I've given you. And you couldn't even do that. Dad. Get out of my sight. Can't you see I need you right now? This meant so much to me. I, I gave it everything I had. Can't you just be there for me like a normal father? You're not good enough and you'll never be good enough. You're just a disappointment. Oh, I see how it is. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I paid for your coaches, your lessons, and your jacket. You don't deserve this. No! No! You're worthless, and you disgust me. Uh, yeah, yeah, no good. Yeah. It, it, it's fine. I'm on it. I'm so sorry. Don't be, it's not your fault. He's just an asshole. It's so hard to see you like this. I, I'm okay, really. I'm just, I'm glad you're here. You need to get away from him. How? My brother has a car. Once he fixes it, we can take it. We can run away together. Oh, right, from Kent. How do you think he's going to react to that? I've talked to him about you, and he's my brother. He'll just have to understand that I love you and I'm staying by your side. And if you need to run away, I'm coming with you. I, I am so lucky to have you in my life. So many things I wanted, but in my mind, when I pictured them, you were there with me. God. I, I can't deal with the fact that I'm never going to see you again.
you're going. Seriously, you guys have like nothing better to do. So this is your place. Not surprised. It's even worse than the other demolition worthy houses in the disgusting neighborhood. Maybe that's how you end up in a place like this when your parents kill themselves because they're too weak to raise a child. Maybe. We all can't have parents to wipe our own asses for us. You and your piece of shit friends are never gonna come back to my side of the town after tonight. Why don't you just back off, man? Or what, you're gonna hang yourself too? You know, it's kind of funny. I've seen you before. What do you want? Stop! Stay the hell away from me! Are you deaf, man? I told you to stay away! Come on, what are you waiting for? I've been left in worse shape. See? Even in your own neighborhood, you're invisible. You know what, Andrew? You're right. And you know what else? You've also achieved great things. And I know you must work really hard or you wouldn't be a D1 athlete. And I know that deep down you must be a good guy because Natalie wouldn't have fallen in love with you if you weren't. But know this. I'm proud of who I am. I might not have the success that you do, but the amount of struggle that you put into your life will never amount to the same level that we have. All that we've been through and we're still standing. Survivors of hell. Kings of deprivation. I present to you, your broke majesties. You think you're tough by teaming up on him? Two against one? If you want to settle this, then let's settle it. Not here. Tomorrow at the park. 
We'll settle this once and for all. You better be ready. You okay, man? Did we win? Here, go inside. I'll go pick you up some Advil. Use the back door.
You just need to get some sleep. Yeah, totally. <laughs> oh. 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 How come Ken's not at school? It's probably too embarrassing, too scared. Listen, I don't want to deal with you guys right now. So I'll see you tonight. Hey. Bad for your health. See you tonight. St. Athens Church, the full story. This town is much older than most residents believe. The church was built in 1895. Over the years, it remained a predominantly white upper-class church for all the landowners. As times changed, the council allowed it to be a communal church for all the townspeople. Segregation laws still existed, but the priest was determined to unite people together under God, no matter what their color, background, or wealth. But not everyone saw it that way. The resentment of the two classes grew violently very quick. Massive fights broke out, terrible lynchings and unprecedented chaos. The church was supposed to be the middle ground that would unite the two parts of town. But it all went wrong, and eventually it was closed down to stop the violence. The priest was removed from his position for wild accusations. He claimed a demon was behind it all. Although others seemed to back his accusation, it was quickly dismissed. The priest left this final message when he was removed. I didn't know what it was at first. A voice echoing in the halls. A shadow standing in the back corner of the room. I'm familiar with the evil that exists in this world, but this was nothing like anything I'd ever seen. At first it was barely noticeable, but as conditions got worse, they grew stronger. I spend every night with that thing tormenting me, talking to me horrible things. Through all this pain and death, it began to take form, and one night, it crawled out from behind the cross. A man, but it wasn't real. It was figureless, shapeless, undefinable. I know the children could see it when they prayed, and it would latch onto them. This demon was born in a place of God. And it managed to win because the violence never ended. It attaches itself to those we love most. It feeds off our negative emotions, thinking it's trying to love you. The more tragedy, the stronger it gets. It tries to trick you into following it. It lures you away from people and psychologically torments you until it takes you. And I took the most. Until I figured it out. I knew what it wanted, and I wasn't going to let it feed off of the pain of our people anymore, so I closed the church down, locked the doors, and left it trapped inside. But as I was leaving, it spoke to me one last time. It said, You can lock me here for now, but the moment that there is something strong enough to tear this town apart, I will break free and feed once again. That's why I took Natalie. She was the perfect person to tear us apart. The rumble. Where the hell have you been? Those rich kids are gonna be here any minute. No, we're not gonna fight. What? We can't. It's what it wants. What the hell are you talking about? Have you ever noticed something like a man just figureless watching you? How did... No, 
It was just a dream. No, it wasn't. I know what you've seen. I can explain further, but first we gotta try to talk him out of this fight. Don't you get it? If we're the ones that back down, we're admitting defeat. And we'll never get ahead. Come on, Kent. I'm sick and tired of dealing with their crap. We're always getting picked on. And especially me. I'm ready to end this. Maybe we need to look at things differently. Go get the others. two obvious outcomes for how this goes. Either way, people are gonna get hurt. We don't have to be friends, but we don't have to be enemies either. And I'm willing to stand down if you are. Where you going? What took Natalie? What? I don't really understand it, but this thing, it attached itself to Natalie. She used to hang out at St. Athens Church when she was upset, and this thing created a bond with her pain. 
It's been watching us ever since, just lurking in the shadows. And the more division that we create between us, the stronger it gets. Whatever you guys do, don't give in to it. Kent? Honey? Mom? I'm here. But you're... dead. Andrew? What are you doing here? I'm here for you. I got you a new jacket, son. No! You're not taking me! Let me go! I know what you want, and I'm not letting you have it. Kent. I'd never see you again. I'm here. I'm so sorry for leaving you. I'm here. No. You're not. It's not evil. It's not trying to hurt you. It's just trying to help. Stay back. I don't know what you are, but stay back. I'm your mother. You are not my mother. Come back, son. You stay the hell away from me, asshole. All I want to do is help you. Let me help you. You come any closer and I'll kill you. I swear I'll do it. Please, Andrew, just go with him. I can't do this without you. Natalie. Andrew. <clears throat> it isn't you. Go away, both of you. Forgive me for all my faults. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I swore I was gonna protect you and I failed. If you were the real Natalie, I'd never let you go. You can't trick me. <laughs>
torment me? I torment myself every day, asshole! You're no different! I expected more from you, is that all you got? Stop hiding and show yourself! What kind of brother are you anyways? Maybe you think you deserve it. She's dead because of you. But the world's not trying to punish you. I don't know how things got so messed up, but I promise you, I'm gonna fix them. We were only afraid of you because we didn't know what you were, but we do now. We've changed. Our differences no longer need to separate us, and you no longer need to be here. Oh. Shit, God. God. Call someone! No. It's fine. What do you mean, man? We, we gotta get you help. It's fine. Let it be. Okay, hey, come on. Don't, don't talk about you. You're gonna be alright, okay? Hey, it's fine. Okay. We did it. That help. This couldn't have gone a better way. I don't want to be alive anymore after everything that I've gone through. And tonight, I get to see my sister again. I'll tell her what you did for me. I'm so sorry, Kent. For everything. I'm so sorry. It's time for us to move on. And Jason? You finally get to call the shots. It's your time, man. Do it right. I'm scared to go. Don't. Don't. Don't be. You're Kent the Bulldog Lloyd.
It's easy to become lost. Honestly, I've been there for years. Holding on to something uh, I could have let go. Fighting wars against people I never even took the time to get to know. Wars can end. Once your demons are conquered, you realize how pointless your quarries were. You can move on. You can find acceptance. At the end of the day, we're all fighting the same demons. It's hard to accept that sometimes we lose the people we love most. I think I've finally come to terms with that. And I'm grateful that I had a great friend like Kent in my life. I'm gonna miss him. And hopefully he's gone to a better place. Is everything fixed now? No, but it's a start. Now it's time for us to move on. Oh, my bad. Is this better? Hey, Wait, yeah. so I'm not alive, I'm 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 al
Okay. Diddy. Well, Dr. Dre's dead. Nothing you need. He's Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. Feminist women love him. Chicky, 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 swim, swim. I'm sick of him. Oh, look at that. Walking around with him. You know what? Cute though. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Like your eggs, Jeff. Scrambled or splattered? Dude, it, was it, it wasn't actually the three black monsters. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, I asked you a question. Wrong one. I got my own What? I'm talking to things you should do. It's all being better than you. Get these damn kids out of here.